today we have with us YB Stephen Sim, Deputy Youth and Sports Minister. Welcome YB. Hello, Roshini. Hi. How are you feeling today? I'm fine. Good. Youths today face challenges that are different from what their parents faced. That's right. What is the issue affecting youth that you are most passionate about? I think one of the biggest uh, issue that our young people in Malaysia face today is uh, in terms of quality of life, availability of jobs, because youth unemployment is actually over uh, way three times more than the uh, national average. It's about 10-11%, uh, while the national average is about 3-4%. to 4%. So uh, quality of life in terms of uh, an unemployment, employment, underemployment, where you have a group of youth who has a job, but uh, their job are not paying as, uh, as much as, as they should or the job does not commensurate with their qualification. And then you have uh, youth who have problem finding uh, housing, accommodations and, uh, and uh, all sorts of facilities for recreation, pursuing their hobbies, etc. So I think uh, quality of life is very important. Recently, you said the Youth and Sports Ministry is among the top 10 most corrupt ministries. However, it also received the lowest allocations. Yeah. Will you guys be pushing for higher allocations considering there's a lot of um, issues affecting youth like unemployment, like you mentioned, and pregnancy, teen suicides, and so on? I think before we ask for more money, the key thing is to deal with these leakages. The key thing is to deal with these abuses. And this is what we have done. Uh, the, minister, the minister has given instruction that from now on, because one of the reasons for these leakages is uh, procurement policies. We have up to 60% of our procurement in, in 2017, for example, uh, are done without open tender, without transparent, competitive open tender. Without open tender, when you have, uh, uh, when you have a multi-million dollar big ticket item being awarded through direct negotiation to a single company, and more often than not, this company is uh, politically linked. Then you are opening up gaps for abuses. We are transitioning from direct negotiation, uh, limited tender, to full open tender. We are appointing a, uh, or rather allowing MACC, the Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission, to place one of their senior staff within the ministry. And they do not have to report, that particular staff do not have to report to our minister. He reports, or he or she reports directly to MACC. So these are the uh, good governance measures that we want to do. We want to sort out our own house, our home, home first before we go to the uh, to the finance ministry or to the prime minister to ask for more money. I think once you stop the leakages, then you will see you, you can you we will be able to expand the, the the resources that we have. 